we know that there's too much carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. But on the other hand, we know that there's not enough carbon in our soils. Since the start of industrialised agriculture, we've seen that soils have lost between 20 and 60% of the carbon. At Lone Bio, we make plants better at sucking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and storing it in our soils. I grew up on a, a cattle and grains farm in the central west of New South Wales in Australia. It was a pretty free range childhood. I spent a lot of my time out of the paddocks, learning about the science of nature. From a really early age, my parents taught me about the importance of soil and just how it underpins being able to grow nutritious food. It got me hooked straight away. So I went to uni and, and studied agricultural sciences. Lone Bio is a biotech company that works at the intersection between agriculture, microbial science and climate change. We develop microbial seed treatments that enable our agricultural soils to sequester really meaningful amounts of carbon. In a handful of soil, there's over a billion microbes. The interesting thing about the microbial world is it's relatively unexplored. So there's so much that we don't know. And what we're doing at Lone Bio is really starting to unpick what's the role of each of those microbes within the soil. We go through a really extensive search process to be able to find the best microbes in the environment. We bring them into our labs and we do whole genome sequencing on them to really understand what are they capable of doing. From there, we select out the best microbes to be able to do the job of carbon sequestration. In a normal situation, what happens is a plant will start to grow. It's pulling carbon dioxide down from the atmosphere via photosynthesis. That plant grows, it dies, and a lot of that carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere. When we use our technology, that plant starts to grow. Photosynthesis is pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. But the microbes that we're using, they're capturing that carbon in stable forms in the soil. So that plant will die and less of that carbon dioxide will be released back into the atmosphere. Farmers are absolutely on the front line of climate change. They're the ones who experience the worst droughts, the worst floods and are dealing on a day-to-day -day basis with the impacts of climate change. As our climate becomes more variable, our soils need to have more resilience within them. Building carbon within soils gives you a buffer. It enables you to withstand some of those extreme climatic events. We've seen a really strong response with farmers that we work with and they're really eager to be able to trial these technologies on farm. For the work that we do at Lone Bio, we're really looking to move beyond sustainable and get to a point where we're truly regenerating the land that we work. So with the results that we've seen in the fields, if we would apply microbial technology like this to all of the soybean across America, you'd be able to offset the equivalent emissions of the entire US aviation industry. If this technology is able to be deployed across all of agriculture, we know that we can actually have a gigaton solution on our hands. That means that we can have really meaningful impacts on climate change. We're able to draw down enough to be able to buy us time in the climate crisis. I'm Tegan Nock and I'm one of the co-founders and the Chief Product Officer of Lone Bio.